Our model is now complete, but we want to be able to animate it. If I were to select this swing and go to rotate it, you can see we would be able to swing this and I could animate that action. But these ropes are going to appear quite stiff. In order to add some more flexibility, we're going to add what's called a rig to it. So if I just undo that, Control Z, we're going to add some bones that will allow us to deform the shape of this rope and give us a bit more flexibility. I'm going to jump into my front view here and we're going to add a new object type called an armature. Before we do that, what I'd like to do is actually move this 3D cursor, which is where new objects are created. So I'm going to select the swing here. I'm just going to hit W to go back into selection mode. And I'm going to right click into the snap menu and cursor to select it. And you can see it's moved the 3D cursor to the top here. So now I can hit Shift A and we're going to add an armature object. So if I click on that there, you can see it's added this bone shape in here. To actually adjust the shape of this and position of it, what we actually need to do is go into edit mode. So we'll hit tab to go into edit mode and we can now move parts of this around. We have the main body of the bone, but we also have this point on the end here. And I can actually take that and I can just hit G and I can move that around. If I just use my middle mouse to snap it to Z, I can now drag that down to the full length of this rope and click to release. Now we've still only got one bone here so to increase the number of divisions here, as with any other mesh, we can subdivide it. So if I right click on it and hit subdivide, you can see we've split it in two. I actually want three bones, so I'm going to go down to this little pop-up menu at the bottom here, roll that out and increase the number of cuts to two. Okay, so we can now exit edit mode by hitting the tab key. And now with the armature object selected, I'm just going to hit G and just constrain it to the X axis and move this across roughly into the middle of the swing. There we are. And you can see as we rotate around this that it's perfectly aligned to the center there. Now while we're getting this set up, I'm just going to hide the bird object. So I'm going to go over into the outliner and just click on that little eye icon. And now we need to connect the swing here up to this armature. Now in order to do that, we simply select the swing, shift, select the armature object, and then if we right click, we can go to this parent menu, and we need to go to armature deform with automatic weights. If we click on that, then these two will be connected to each other. Now to test this out, we actually need to go to a new mode. When you're animating a rig created with bones within Blender, we can't work within object mode. We've got a different mode called pose mode. So to go into pose mode, we need to select our armature object and we can go up to the top menu here and you can see under object and edit, we now have an additional mode called pose mode. If I click on that, you can see the color of the bones changes to blue. Now, if I select one of these bones, I can just enable my rotation tool and you can see if I rotate it, I'm now actually deforming the shape of that rope, which is exactly what we're after. If I just undo those rotations, this is working pretty well, but the one thing that isn't quite working the way I'd like, as I rotate this bone, you can see the top of the rope is separating away from this beam at the top here. So we need to do something to fix that. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo. W to go back into selection mode. And before we start this, I'm just going to save my scene, Control S. I'm going to jump back into object mode and select my swing object. Hit the period key just to frame that up. And I'm actually going to hide this frame because we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Now to deform this rope, each of the vertices within the rope is assigned a weight value 
which connects it to one or other of these bones. And to edit that, we can actually change our mode to what is called the weight paint mode. These colors along the rope define how much influence a certain bone has. Now, we need to see which bones are affecting the weights at any particular time. To do that, if you go over into this property panel and click on this little green triangle icon, you can see that we now have under the vertex groups, three bones. And you can see as we click between all of these, it's showing us which areas are affected by that particular bone. Our first bone in our chain, this red area is the area that is affecting the most. And as the color falls off to blue here, that's the area that's having the least effect. So within this weight paint mode, we can actually paint influence onto this mesh. So you can see up at the top here, our weight is defined as one. So we're going to be adding 100% weight with 100% strength. Now the bone that we're interested in here is bone two. And you can see its influence is mainly around the center here, but it does have some slight influence over the top here, which we don't really want. So what we can actually do is paint in a negative weight as well. So we want a weight of zero at 100% strength, and we're going to paint this onto the top points here. So if I just paint over here, you can see that the color is changing and going slightly darker. So if I just move around, just check that I've painted over all of those points on the top there. And to test this effect, we need to exit weight paint mode and go back to object mode. We need to select our armature and we need to go into our pose mode. Now with that central bone selected, I can go to rotate. And as I rotate it, you can see that those points on the top now do not move. I'll just quickly check out the other bones. That seems fine. And obviously, if we rotate this one from the top, we'll move everything. Okay, so I'll exit pose mode, go back to object mode, and we can re enable our bird and our frame. Just hit home to frame everything up again and save.